and I know a lot of you probably follow that account because it's really popular. All right, hi guys. So today we have some interesting stuff to talk about, which is, as you can see from the title, I spent five hundred dollars on Instagram to buy this really popular Irene fan account called Irene dot Red Velvet, and they have. 570k followers when, when I bought them and um, and I got scammed so this is what happened I got the account I paid I got the account and then it works fine that day and you know I was like oh you know I kind of felt relieved you know I didn't get hacked or anything I mean, no, I didn't get um, not hacked. I didn't get scammed or anything. But a few days later, so I kept posting on that account because I didn't tell anyone, hey guys, I'm the new owner. No, I didn't. I did that after a few days. So then I posted a story, be like, hey, this is the new owner. And um, how are you guys doing? Did like a little question, question stuff on like the story thing. And a lot of people, like replied there were a lot of engagement i was having a good time and then so it was late and i went to sleep oh and then what, what was weird about it was that so the original owner um according to the id the owner's name is timothy so i'll just call him timothy so this timothy guy basically messaged me that night when i was engaging with the followers he was like oh yeah just you know like just to check up how's the account going and like oh by the way did you delete the id picture yet i was like yeah i did so that was kind of at the moment i was kind of like weirded out because i was like huh usually people ha ask you like oh can you delete the id, ID, ID picture like when the transaction worked right after the transaction like after i paid the money after he gave me the password everything changed right but no he said that he asked me a few days later so that was like a little bit weird out but i didn't care about that care about it that much at that time so what happened was after i woke up so the next morning and um i was trying to well, I was trying to check the account because I feel like probably more people ask me questions and then I got kicked out and I was like what and I tried to log back in it says wrong pass password and I was trying to you know click um forgot my password and try to try to get back in and then I realized that the um the email is completely different it's a completely different email so I was like oh shit I was like this is not a good feeling, you know, because it's like, uh, what the fuck? So then I used my other um, Instagram account to check uh, check the Irene fan account. It's saying that they um, deleted the posts that I posted and they changed everything. They changed, or they deleted my stories as well and they changed the profile picture and everything. So I was like, but, and they blocked my main account so the, the, the account that I used to contact the seller so I was like what's going on so at first I thought this was um, a hacker a hacker hacked the account so I contacted the original seller Timothy and then I was like oh what the heck somebody probably hacked me or something but later I figured out because I was like, wait, but if a hacker hacked the account, well, first of all, I didn't get a sus, like, you know, usually Instagram would send you like a suspicious email, no, not suspicious email, like an email saying, oh, there was a uh, suspicious activity and um, someone tried to log in at this location, um, that time, whatever. But I didn't get that. There, there was nothing. So everything was smooth. 
and also one thing was I changed everything. I changed the password, phone number, email, and I um, activated the two factors. Uh, what was it called? Two factor verif verification or something? Yeah, everything changed. Everything active. So that was one suspicious part. I was like, that's weird that Instagram didn't send me that email, which means Instagram didn't recognize a new device. That was the thing. Also, what was suspicious was that Timothy was um, asking if I deleted his ID pictures or not. So that was also suspicious. So obviously he is the number one suspect. Buying and selling on Instagram is not um, is against the terms of use. Lessons learned, you do not do that. And uh, because Instagram always favors the original owner. So even though you pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy that account, the original owner can still contact Instagram and tell them, hey, like somebody just hacked my account. And then they can simply just either um, put in their recovery email or they could, you know, send the pictures of uh, ID or something to prove that they're, they are the original owner. And then Instagram would just kick me or kick the other person out. So that's what was going on. And he asked me to send it through PayPal friends and family. So probably not going to get the money back. Huh. Well, and also it's just, I don't know. This whole thing is just really fishy because he is keep posting on that account. And I know a lot of you probably follow that account because it's really popular. It has a lot of followers. So, well, and, um, yeah, and there are some, like, logic flaws that he was trying to say. First of all, when I, before I buy the account, I asked him, like, oh, are you, like, so did you start this account from the craft? And then he was like, yeah, I did. I still have the conversation. I probably can't put it over here. Yes, I did. And then after that, I was like, after that, I, I was testing his other account, right? And then I was like, blah, blah, blah. So then only you could do that. Only because you're the original owner. So only you can like, you know, get the account back. And then he's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not the original owner. The original owner was like someone else and like I, I i i got i bought this account from them and i was like well the thing is that's not what you said before so and i was like okay if there really is that original owner then how about you try to contact them oh i i don't have their like personal account or secondary account like i can't contact them blah 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 um suspicious <laughs> right it's like uh, okay and also why would the original owner hack or not hack or get their account back right now they could have get it back a long time before right like right after timothy asked me if i deleted his id right that's really suspicious it's like <laughs> it's really obvious so he basically just denying that he is the original owner and um, he's saying, oh, if I sold you for high price, why would I get it back? Well, obviously, you, you are the only one that benefits here. The original owner, well, all, he, all they do is get the account back, but you, you already got the money and by getting the account back, you get the money and the account. So you can keep posting, keep asking for buyers and keep getting money, scamming money. You know what I mean? It's like, you are the, you are benefiting from this situation. And also there was really, like there was one logic flaws that he was saying 
he was saying he didn't know anything, right? He like, oh, I didn't even go on Instagram for days, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hmm, okay. Well, how about explain why only my posts on that account got deleted? Hear me out. So think about this. When I first log in to that Irene account, I didn't tell anyone or I didn't post on um, story or comment saying, hey, I'm the new owner. My name is blah, blah, blah. I didn't say anything. I just kept posting. Then how the fuck did the original owner know which posts I posted and deleted them? Right? I didn't tell anyone. I only did business with Timothy. So Timothy was the only one who knew which posts I did because he handles the account. So he knows which post that, that he posted. Right? So if he doesn't recognize these posts, that means I posted it. Do you guys get the, get the point here? So him by saying that, oh, I never went on Instagram. I don't, I'm not the original owner, blah, blah, blah. Well, then how did the original owner know that I posted them? Right? If they're just like a random person, they don't they don't know me. I don't know them, right? I only posted the story yesterday, so a few days after I was I was on this account. Here is what Timothy is like. That's his ID. I'm just gonna expose him. Over here, trying to deny, blah, 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 blah. Just a bunch of screenshots of the conversation. You guys can pause and read that shit. I don't even. And also, lastly, he posted, he sent me this. Because I posted on my story, be like, hey, guys, like, watch out. I'm going to expose this dude. He, like, scanned me for 500 bucks. And then... And then Timothy sent me this screenshot. I was like, well, the thing is, at first, it's, it looks scary, but like, um, also, it is illegal in your country to leak someone's infos. Sally face. And when you click on that photo, it says, publication, etc., of an intimate image without consent. intimate intimate image so what is an intimate image in this section intimate image means a visual recording of a person made by any means including a photographic film or video recording so which means like the person is nude or anything so are were you nude in that picture I guess not. Update, update, update. So I um, gotta tell you guys because there's some other juicy stuff to put on here. Oof. Okay, so there is um, this really popular Sergi account has 351k followers. It's called Sergi Red Velvet and they reach out to me. Um, they saw my story that of me exposing Irene dot Rebellion, and they asked, "Oh, really?" And then they said, "She said that you returned the account because you don't want it anymore. That's why she's back." Bruh, <laughs> I, I. <sighs> Apparently, that ID is probably a fake ID. Like I knew it. I was so dumb. Like why didn't why did I just ask them to send an ID instead of like you know be more secure? Like okay, hold your ID. It's your selfie or something. And then the Sergi account says that this account said 
he he said he's a girl so we don't really know what gender what, what kind of person behind the behind the screen right good thing that they reached out to me or else they would just believe her or their lies and also if um if they're saying i didn't want the account why would it block me because they blocked me mm -hmm. oh also there's a juicy part so arinda uh, red velvet says that they refunded me because i was threatening i was threatening them i said i'll put your paypal balance on minus how the, how the fuck do you put paypal balance on minus like how do you even do that i don't even know how to do that and i at this point i'm just like well there's like nothing true comes out of that mouth and um this person said i got the account for 800 bucks but i have proof i got it for only 500 canadian dollars and um look at this like sending random screenshots like part like they cropped out they cropped out like so like the majority of the picture also this account bright bay baby i got the same message before because they're like oh i'm a friend of every thought red velvet and then i asked sergey not sergey like the account sergey account i was like huh bright baby is her account right and they confirmed that yeah it's her account so i feel like the strategy the strategy for the scammer is that um they use this account to attract buyers because there's a lot of followers and then they actually give the buyer a few days to develop more followers because they will like you know keep posting stuff to keep keep um trying to develop stuff right and a few days later or something where where you know the, the account is like well developed and then they retrieve the account back so i think um they can just keep doing this because they're the original owner so they're basically getting paid for people for people that are promoting their account they get me so it's like he so the sergey account was like oh no right they were trying to talk to this account because you know they're like oh better tell the truth you know i can't believe it for me or my friend but like you should just stop scamming people yeah and especially you're grabbing everyone's names and then <laughs> anyways are you done i don't want to comment so that's the juicy part that's some extra juicy part so what i'm gonna do is you guys can like you know report the account and spread the message so i will um try to post about this on like k-pop group like k-pop facebook groups so then trying to spread the message you know so yeah some of you probably won't like some like i contact uh, i told a lot of my friends and stuff and um they were saying oh we we can't try to report that account but the thing is you can try but it doesn't work because it's not violating instagram's uh, term of terms of use or anything the thing is i could do is contact instagram and say that this is this account sold um the, try to sell their account and um which that part is against the against the policy but other than that there's like if you're trying to re if you're trying to report the account that doesn't really work like that you know so i mean i don't know i was dumb i never really bought anything online and not online but i mean like a, a, an account online i thought if i changed the password or anything it, it just worked like that but 
I'm just trying to spread the message, tell everyone do not buy account like Instagram account online and if you're a gamer, well I'm not but I'm just saying if you're you're a gamer and then I know for gamers you guys like to you know <clears throat> buy accounts or something be really careful and maybe just try not to because they can I don't know they can just steal your account or they after selling that to you they can just get it back so also pay extra 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 attention if they're trying to um tell you to pay through friends and family because 99 percent you're not gonna get that money back so i don't know like honestly i don't know what i was thinking when i when i bought the account like it was literally like 2 a.m and i saw his story he was saying oh it was um account for sale offer up and then i offered and i was so tempted because <clears throat> it's like 570k followers for 500 dollars. that's like that seems like a good deal you know i was trying to use it to you know to promote my youtube to keep posting in, uh a rain photo try to you know make some friends on there trying to engage with the followers and also maybe i'll probably start like a business or something so they can promote that Cat. so yeah i was trying to you know like either promote youtube or either maybe start like a online shop so i could use that to promote the shop but you know So yeah, um, comment down below what you think and um, <laughs> your your thoughts, your ideas, your suggestions, and do not buy Instagram accounts ever. Learn the lesson hard ways, but it's okay. I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs>